Hi, my name is Mary Virginia Benton, and I would like to talk to you this evening about some expectations, procedures, and rules that I highlighted in a PowerPoint presentation that I did last week. The two expectations that I would have for my classroom to inherent task would be, first of all, having a positive classroom, and second of all, having a safe zone. And yes, they kind of go hand in hand, but they're a little bit different in different ways. So as I go through these, these points, you'll see the similarities and the differences in the two. So the first one that I wanted to talk about is the positiveness. So there's two different ways you can do this. You can have a positive climate in your classroom. And by having a positive climate in your classroom, you're, you're engaging students in a positive way. Of course, this is, there's always going to be challenges that this presents. Some of the challenges are going to be you're not always going to have children coming in and students coming in being positive. But using a strong voice and the teacher remaining positive, clear, also fair, but having a little bit of flexibility does help make a positive climate. But also part of the positivity is just making them feel like you're realistic, being transparent, having a sense of openness, open to questions, um, and maybe even just agreeing to disagree. I think agreeing to disagree is so big because that way you're, you're not telling the, the student you're wrong. You're just saying you have a right to feel the way you feel because we as, we as human beings have our own feelings and other people cannot control how we feel. So we are the owners of our own feelings. So just portraying that positiveness, helping the, the students know when you come in, the rules are positive and, and safety. And so on the other end of the positiveness is, is what my school system has adopted is the PBIS model, which is the positive intervention and support. So it's for positive behavior, offering the intervention, and the support. So as long as you have a support system and everyone's on board, this includes the students and the parents alike, everyone's on board and everyone understands this, then that helps to enforce, reward, give consequences, and everybody's also collaborating to see this positiveness through. So as far as safety goes, the safety is is not really a big concern. Is The children want to feel safe. They want to feel like they can walk in and be safe. And this helps them feel safe if they know that, okay, I'm here for you. I'm the teacher. I'm not your friend. But we are approaching this classroom with open-mindedness. And make, make the rules and expectations clear that are posted, but also let them know that, you know, that safety's first always of, of yourself and everyone else around you. And we're in, 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 in types of times of crisis, we're going to enforce the safety issue as well. But also just know that in the classroom, with their learning, they're also safe. There's no dumb questions. We don't laugh at other people. We don't bully. We don't make fun. You know, that's the whole component there. And the positiveness and the safety feed off of each other. And that makes the whole entire climate a very nice, warm, generous climate. So those are the way, are my uh, tasks that will be inherent in my classroom and my policies, procedures, and rules. Thank you so much, and my name is Mary Benton.